YouTube, this is Tatiana Susina and I'm trying to do like a review on something I made. It's better if I go and explain to you. Um, okay. Upstairs here is just like materials. I need to clean it out. My guinea pigs are having floor time at the moment because I'm going to clean out their cages again. And so look, look at how filthy it is. So, I just cleaned out the bottom cage and I decided to try out this thing. Um, let me better open it one second okay so you can see it better okay <laughs> guinea pig eating pellets not adorable the other guinea pig cleaning herself so I'm trying out a review with tissue paper this is yes it's toilet paper but it's clean and fresh and basically let me show you what I did is just ripped up a whole roll of toilet paper it's really soft toilet paper there's some different brands where they're just really cheap quality, but this is really, really soft. And as you can see, the guinea pigs are really enjoying it. Oh, look, a guinea pig drinking water. The baby guinea pig. They're starting to learn to drink water by themselves, which is good. So I want to try it out because when I'm going to be traveling to Kenya for Christmas and stuff, um, I want to see if this bedding is actually good, how long it lasts and absorbent and stuff it is. Obviously, it's tissue, so it's very absorbent. But I have newspaper under here as well, just in case. But you see it moves, the newspaper, so when they run, suddenly this thing could easily move, which is not really good. So really, all I could have is this instead of newspaper at the bottom. Sorry, my guinea pigs are all squabbling and stuff. Look at the baby guinea pig. And it's really cozy. In fact, when you hold your hand here for a long time on, on the tissue or under the tissue, it's really warm. Your hand like heats up automatically. It's really odd, but it's really, really warm. Sorry, my guinea pigs are very mean to each other. Uh, anyway, my point is I would really recommend doing this for your rabbits or your other or your guinea pigs if they're living outside. Obviously, you want to keep your guinea pigs inside in the winter because they can die of really cold weathers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Guinea pigs. They can die of cold weather. And that's not very good. So I'm saying the tissue is really, really warm. So if you were to um, keep your guinea pig or your rabbit outdoors in a hutch or something, I'd really recommend taking just a simple roll of toilet paper, which isn't expensive, depending on how big your hutches, obviously you may need more than one toilet roll and just rip it up into not too small pieces if you can see here just rip it up into chunks and it's really really soft like you can see it's really cushiony I just want to try it out obviously I'm going to go back onto the material eventually I just want to see how long this lasts so I'm going to keep one upstairs I'm going to clean it out and keep material on it and then downstairs I'm going to keep tissue bedding and see which one is better and compare it. But obviously I'm, wanna, I'm hoping that the tissue bedding is better, at least for the long run, because I'm going to be traveling like I mentioned, and I would like it to be really easy for the person who's going to be looking after my guinea pigs. I don't want them to constantly having to clean the materials and clean the guinea pigs and clean this, clean that because I just don't want it to sound too complicated so somebody can actually look after them. Whether it's my grandparents or my mom's cousins or something, so... And especially my grandparents, you know, they're... It's kind of complicated. They're old and old people, you know, they don't like to do too much. So let me take you inside my cage and show you what my guinea pigs are doing. This one is eating hay. Only pinky. Oh, they're ripping up tape under as well. That's what Ozzy's doing. And where are the babies? You can see the water bottle thing there. So yeah, I will tell you how it goes and what I find is really good for this. Like, how absorbent it is. And I'll tell you everything. Um, I just put it in now, so I want to find out. Because the bedding we get here for guinea pigs is is wood shavings and stuff which isn't healthy for guinea pigs 
it's not recommended and stuff. So, and it's kind of expensive. Whereas here, a toilet roll would be like, I'm telling you in currencies we have here, which is lei. So it would, let's say, five lei for a toilet roll. Maybe ten, no, five. So if you were needing more than five, like, you would need two toilet rolls because I would need upstairs two levels. So I would pay ten lei, let's say, for a three days. Whereas I buy wood shavings, cost 20 lei. Sorry, guinea pigs are squabbling. 20 lei for three days. 20 lei for one thing. So I would need to use four. Sorry, oh my god, these guinea pigs. Hey, 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 hey. Control yourselves. I just put my other guinea pig, I tried to make them friends and stuff because she's gonna give birth soon. So I put her um, with the babies and the mum down and I put the other female upstairs with the boy but they're having floor time at the moment. So they're trying to, they're not very nice to each other. Hey, 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 be nice. I don't even know what. Hey. I'm going to observe them and see if it gets... I think this is getting really violent now. I'm actually just picking on her. Okay, I think I'm going to separate them. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry for all the guinea pig problems. Um, I will tell you, though, how the bedding goes and stuff. I will tell you how the bedding goes and what I think of it and if it's very if it's good or bad and stuff but I'm going to separate my guinea pigs now anyway because they're doing really stupid stuff so thank you for watching goodbye